Get your fat head on the trail. Hey, it's Brian Lake back with another beer review you can use. Your beer reviewer extraordinaire. Up today we have Fatheads Trailhead. Now Fatheads is an Ohio beer. This is part of my push to do a lot of Ohio beer. Um, Mulberry Heights. I forget if it's near Cleveland or Columbus and that's my bad. I should know more. You know, I was a Sensei Craft Beer Examiner for years on examiner.com. But this is a hoppy ale. This is going to be a nice, uh, should have a nice golden color. 6.3% alcohol. I'm not sure what the IBUs are, but who cares. Let's dive into it, shall we? I've never had this one before. Already I can smell it. Wow. That is like, smell like grass and citrus right on the nose as soon as you open it. Look at that head. That is beautiful. Whoa. It's very carbonated. Wow. That's got some structure. I bet you that's going to be nice and creamy. Ugh. It is hoppy without being overly hoppy. Mmm. Just as I thought. So even that foam, and a lot of people don't like it. They're like, oh, I'm going to go for a foam a more beer. Well, you know what? That's the flavor, Chester. And that's what you're supposed to do with the foam. You're not supposed to really drink it much. The, the, you know, when you drink in, you take in carbon dioxide as in, in the carbonation, there's only two ways you're going to get rid of it, and neither way your, your neighbor's going to like you. So I'll let you think about what those two ways are. So it's kind of grassy, a little hint of citrus on the nose, probably because it's still a bit cold. Uh, that is a nice hoppy ale. Um, Got to get, uh, get things going. Right now I'm out of three and a half. Yep. When I think of a pale ale, especially an American style pale ale, that's what I think. Kind of grassy. Just a hint of citrus and bitter in the back of the mouth. And not overly bitter, but that hot bitterness just saying, Hello, I'm here, and now I'm gone. And it kind of lingers. See? And you want to taste those hops again through the back of your teeth after you belch. So, that, that um, I mean, that is some great head retention. Nice and foamy. Unfortunately, you can't see on top there, but it's got lots of structure. I guess I could see if I could float my my bottle cap, but I'm not going to do that. Hmm. But if you want a hoppy pale ale, nice golden color, very good. You can see it. That is that is nice. Good balance. It's a little bit more to the hop side of balance, but that's where an American pale ale should be. Um, this, it's like mid mouth. It's got a little bit of hint of malt, but it's really grassy uh, hops and um, and it finishes kind of grassy and hoppy now, which is what you want an American pale ale of this st style just not much hint of, of malt anywhere and part of that with a 6.3 percent if you'd excuse my eyeball 6.3 percent alcohol what has happened is most of the malt that is in it has fermented and there aren't too many non-fermentable sugars in it. Just a little bit. It kind of help with the hop, the hop utilization and help kind of tone down the hops. Now there was a time I could tell you which hops were, were probably in this beer, but uh, I've long since lost that ability. I don't make enough beer in it anymore. I was doing lots of experiments with multiple hops several years ago doing extract brewing quite often and so I got to know the smells and aromas of different hops but uh, I'm guessing there's probably a little bit of Cascade in there probably maybe Chinook for the bittering or Northern Brewers another popular bittering hop I don't know what's giving that grassy though but uh, anyway very good I'm gonna give it a four and a half because that that is just fantastic as an American pale ale it's not overly done. It's a little bit heavy for as far as alcohol for a session beer. Uh, as far as food pairings, this would pair well with many things, but I would be particular to spicy food. I'd actually, and I mean like flavorful and hot, so I'm talking Thai, uh, Indian, some Chinese. You could do Mexican with this, um, but there you just have the heat, typically, uh, unless there's, well, there's certain dishes 
Uh, Cancun makes the one that has it's in a pineapple. It's lots of spices. That I forget what it's called. It's I love getting it, but it's a fajita Cancun or something. But it's like enough food for three people. So of course I get it by myself. But you'd want something with lots of flavor and some heat, and then you have that hot bitterness to kind of contend with it. This is a little bit of a palate cleanser, not a whole lot, because the, the hot bitterness does linger. So if you're going to eat something with it, keep that in mind that your tongue's going to get some hot bitterness and grassy that's going to stick around. So whatever you're eating, you want to make sure it doesn't clash too much with that. But yeah, that is that is great American grassy pale ale. That is, and it's not like really, it's not like you just stuck your nose in the bottom of a lawnmower, but it has a sense of being grassy, and it's almost like you can chew the hops. It has that kind of a mouth feel, like you could just, like you're gonna chew on hops with it. And I wouldn't suggest that; that'd be really taste horrible. But that is great. Thanks, guys, from uh, Fathead. We're gonna be doing more of your alls. Like I said, we're gonna be doing more of Ohio. I'm putting a big push uh, right now. I'm trying to get as much stuff from Cincinnati as I can. We did an Over the Rhine, we've done a River Town, uh, we're going to do uh, all of them. I'm basically going to go Jungle Gyms, I'm just going to go bang, 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 uh, and, and do as many of these as I can, as quickly as I can. I have a, a, My list is growing of other beers to try, uh, some of which I haven't found, some of which I have, but I haven't purchased, unfortunately. And so I'm behind, and I keep saying that, but uh, keep them coming. If there's a beer, go look at my beer list. I've got a playlist now that has all my beer reviews that I've published. Uh, let me know what you think of those, and then if there's anything that you want to see me review or want my opinion of, please put it in the comments. I do read them, and I do get suggestions. If you're on uh, World Class Bullshitter uh, stuff too, you can see uh, I'm over there making comments quite often, um, and so you can even do it there. You can respond to me and sit there. You don't have to necessarily respond to mine, but it would be great on mine because uh, I want to get these conversations going. Some people are liking some of my reviews. Way out what I think about stuff. Uh, sometimes we just have to agree to disagree, and some people like beers that I don't like, and vice versa. That's great. Uh, that's why I love the variety in craft beer now. We've got sours and hoppy beers and malty beers and and dark beers and light beers and, and I mean light in color, not light, you know. It's just amazing all the stuff that's coming out. It's constantly gonna love it. So if you've tried the Fathead. Um, Trailhead Pale Ale, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for clicking subscribe over here, and we'll see you next time. Bye.